special report. This is a special edition of CTV News at Noon, and you're looking at a live shot from Chopper 9 as Canada's man in motion wheels his way from Robson Square in downtown Vancouver to Terry Fox Plaza. Good afternoon, I'm Carrie Adams outside BC Place for the final leg of this incredible history repeating relay marking the 25th anniversary of Rick Hansen's Man in Motion World Tour. And here we have Rick Hansen live on the final leg of his journey. It all began last August in Cape Spear, Newfoundland and Labrador. It set off a 12,000 kilometer journey across the country. It's wound its way through more than 600 communities and 7,000 people took part in this relay. At the end of each run, participants handed off a single Rick Hansen medal, which was specially created by the Royal Canadian Mint. All right, we're gonna throw things over to Brent Shearer, who had a chance to carry that medal today, along with some other notable West Coast celebrities. He joins us from just up the street. I understand Rick Hansen probably just passed you by, Brent. He just went by me, Carrie, and I tell you, it was a real honor to be among the more than 60 people who have participated in the last leg of this incredible 273-day journey across the country. I was participant number four, and just a few minutes after me, Canadian football legend Louis Pisaglia was given the relay medal on Hastings Street. The longtime BC Lions kicker walked alongside Rick Hansen for about 250 meters before he handed it off with a warm embrace. Later on Broadway, Hansen had to pause for handshakes and hellos as broadcaster Terry David Mulligan walked alongside him. Mulligan capturing his time with Hansen on his iPhone. Then Olympic rower Silken Lahman with a big smile on her face for Rick and the other relay participant. They started their section along Burrard Street heading towards downtown Vancouver. And Kerry, as we said off the top, Rick has just gone by me, gave me a big thumbs up. What a great guy, and I'll turn it back over to you and uh, have a great show. What an incredible day for Rick Hansen and everything that he's achieved in these past 25 years. Carrie? Indeed, and it has just been an absolutely incredible journey, one that has raised $250 million for spinal cord research. Rick Hansen has just entered Terry Fox Plaza, coming through and high-fiving all the people that have been here to greet him. Hundreds of people are here today. There are people who probably remember his, 20, uh, his Man in Motion tour from 25 years ago, and there are hundreds of school children here today, grades 1, 2, and 3. These are kids that are 9 and 10 and 11 years of age. They would would not have remembered that history-making round-the-world tour that Rick Hansen took part in 25 years ago. But here they are, engaged and watching this history-repeating moment. Rick Hansen has taken the stage. Let's listen in. Now, Amanda, you've been here not only to represent the incredible work that you do, but to represent youth across this country. All of those youth who are doing great work in their communities, standing up, saying, I'm going to make our country a better place. How does it feel to represent the thousands of Canadians across this country? It's actually such an honor. I was chosen by Rick Hansen himself to represent the future generation. I believe everyone um, should make a difference in this world, whether if you have a dream, just go for it and run with it. Let's hear it for Amanda, everybody. Now, Amanda, you do tons of work in the community, either birthday bag program, making sure that everybody can enjoy their birthday present, no matter what their level of income would be. I was wondering, is there maybe someone or something that keeps you motivated, that keeps you your drive to give back to the community? Seeing the expressions on the kids' face when they get to have a birthday party, or just the people in the community, the support, the moral support. I'm supported by my family, I'm supported by my friends, I'm supported by the whole community, all of Canada, apparently, too. <laughs> No pressure representing all of Canada. Well, Amanda, I couldn't think of a better final medal bearer here for the Rick Hansen 25th anniversary relay. I just want to say congratulations one more time. But unfortunately, medal bearers don't get to keep this medal. And I think it's only fitting that we do one final transfer here today back to the man who got it started on day one in Cape Spear, Newfoundland. Can we make some noise for our final exchange to Mr. Rick Hansen right here? <laughs> Ask 
Absolutely incredible work. Vancouver, let's make some noise one more time for Amanda and Rick. And Rick, you're going to wear that for a little while longer because we have a couple of guest speakers. But I'm going to turn things over to the managing director of the Rick Hansen Relay, the individual who helped us get from one coast to the other. Please join me in welcoming Jamie Levchuk to the podium. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Wow, what a turnout. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And thank you, Jordan. And thank you, everyone, for joining us here today as we really celebrate a moment in Canadian history that's 25 years in the making. You know, for a quarter century, the Rick Hansen Foundation has addressed vital needs within the spinal cord injury and disability communities by funding research that has provided better care and outcomes for those with an injury and contributing to accessibility initiatives that foster inclusivity for people with disabilities. The results have been tangible more accessible physical spaces, more services for those with disabilities, more people walking again after spinal cord injuries, and improved medical treatment for those with spinal cord and related injuries. This progress has been the result of millions of people around the world working together to make a difference. And that's why in celebration of the 25th anniversary, our foundation chose to honor over 7,000 difference makers with spots in the Rick Hansen Relay, showcasing the achievements of these everyday Canadians as part of a movement from one man in motion to many in motion. And as we've moved across this country, these 7,000 have reminded us all that we each have our own role to play. To each of these difference makers in their yellow jackets, many of whom have chosen to join us here today in the audience, I say thank you for the work you have done and the inspiration you give to each and every one of us every day. And now, a project like this relay would not be possible without the generous support of our partners and sponsors who shared our vision of a healthier and more inclusive world. I would just like to take a moment to thank our contributors. And we are going to briefly break away from this celebration. There's much more to come. When we return, Rick Hansen himself is expected to speak before this crowd of hundreds in downtown Vancouver. You're watching CTV News at noon. Stay with us. Welcome back to this special edition of CTV News at Noon. We're live at Terry Fox Plaza for the grand finale of Rick Hansen's 25th anniversary relay. This is the same spot where he ended his worldwide Man in Motion tour 25 years ago, so it has special significance. And there are hundreds of people here today. Just moments ago, we witnessed Rick Hansen come up Robson Street for the final leg of this relay. And he's expected to uh, hit the stage in just a couple of moments to speak to the hundreds of, of children and adults that are here to witness this history repeating event. And the ceremonies continue. Let's listen in. In partnership with the Rick Hansen Foundation. The partnership is now 25 years strong and McDonald's could be more proud to support the Rick Hansen Foundation and the continuation of Rick's dream. Our owner operators across the country committed more than $2 million to the anniversary program. And it's been exciting to see so many of our restaurants host celebrations across the country honoring Rick and the thousands of metal bearers taking part in this historic event. Rick, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks and appreciation for your extraordinary commitment and dedication to changing the world. You remind everyone that it's possible to make a, possible, a positive difference, and your tour has been a testament of what can be accomplished when people come together around a common goal. On behalf of McDonald's, we look forward to seeing what the next 25 years will bring as you continue to turn your dream into reality for all Canadians. Thank you.
And Rick Hansen so is on the stage right now. And he's getting set to speak to the hundreds of people that are here. This is the grand finale of the 25th anniversary relay at Terry Fox Plaza. We'll be speaking live with Rick Hansen a little bit later on CTV News at noon. ...across our great country. The stories of our medal bearers, the support of the communities, and the generosity of the Canadian people were both inspiring and humbling. I ask you now to please your, turn your attention to our video board for a brief look at some of the top moments of this relay. My experience with this one was just amazing. It's very nice to have a Canadian hero come up and talk about kids and disabilities and the challenges that everyone faces on a day-to-day -day basis. The Hanson Foundation supports through its funding and has helped many people with spinal injuries. I am so proud of my son, an honor for him to have this network around him. It's just great for these little guys to see big guys, just to know that they have things to impact on the world, they have things to contribute. Something I'm very proud to be a part of, and only one of 7,000 people, they get to carry it across their beautiful country and show that we can make a difference. 25 years ago today, he actually was in Ottawa and got the key to the city, and today we welcome him back and we're declaring it Rick Hansen Day. becoming cool to care and you know Rick was really one of the first leaders to really bring awareness to not only disabilities but how important it is to give back to our community. That's why I'm part of the relay today to create more accessibility and create change. I love my school and Woo! and just speechless. Very, very few of us do carry through with commitments and actually make a difference. It doesn't have to be a big difference, it can be a little difference, but collectively it's enormous and that's what Rick inspires in me. Just don't let anything stop you. Challenge yourself. This has traveled all across the country and brightened my heart. some incredibly inspiring stories and we're here live at the 25th anniversary relay which retraces the original man in motion cross-country tour the ceremonies continue here at terry fox plaza the rick henson foundation has formed valued partnerships with all levels of government and we're proud to have representatives of each with us here today to share some words as part of the commemorate canada program we are grateful for the support received from canadian heritage and would you please join me in welcoming, representing the Government of Canada, the Minister of State for Seniors, and Member of Parliament for Richmond, the Honourable Alice Wong. Well, um, what a ride it has been, you know. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And on behalf of the Government of Canada and the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harbour, congratulations, Greg. 25 years ago, you undertook a journey that many said couldn't be done. The, the ambition you had to circle around the world in a wheelchair seemed almost impossible, but the sheer determination proved 
better. Let us give you another round of applause. I was really proud to co-sponsor the foundation on the hill in Ottawa, and I was really proud to welcome him back to my own riding where he lives, Richmond, just uh, on a Sunday afternoon. So 40,000 kilometers, 34 countries, and a man with a dream. Help raise not only awareness, but $26 million over 26 months for spinal cord research. I cannot express just how proud I am to say that you're not only a resident of my writing, but a Canadian who has left his mark on the world. Since your time and return to cheering crowds at BC Place in Vancouver, you have seen over $252 million in investment towards spinal cord research, accessibility project, and quality of life initiatives. I'd like to remind us all of the mission of the Ray Hansen Foundation, quote, to inspire leaders, influencers, and the public to contribute to Ray Hansen's and the public continuing journeying to, accept, to accelerate progress to a healthier and more inclusive world. I can say, judging by the amount of people here today, we're well on our way to achieving that mission. To all the audi audience, volunteers, and participants, thank you. And also thank you for all the sponsors from the bottom of my heart. You're changing the world each and every day. Have another fruitful 25 years. You won't be a senior then. Thank you, Minister Wong. The Rick Hansen Relay was fortunate to receive the support of more than 600 communities as we made our journey across our great country. And there was no city that hosted more medal bearers than right here in Vancouver. And now, would you please join me in welcoming His Worship, the Mayor of Vancouver, Gregor Robertson. Welcome home, Rick. And welcome to all of the medal bearers. It's such an honor to be welcoming Rick back 25 years later, exactly 25 years to this spot at BC Place here, honoring Rick and his whole team for the incredible job that they have done 25 years ago for 25 whole years right up to today to raise awareness, to make our cities, drive our cities to be more accessible, something Vancouver has taken very seriously as one of the most accessible cities in the world. Our work isn't done yet, and all of you leaders are gonna keep pushing us forward to make sure we stay at the head of the pack. This leadership has made such a huge difference in so many lives, and it's made a huge difference for communities, cities like Vancouver, right across Canada, right across the world. So on behalf of our city, we're so thankful for your commitment, for your tenacity to stick with it all these years, for all of you who've supported this, sponsors, volunteers, medal bearers, all of you. We love you so much. We thank you so much, Rick, for your leadership. Congratulations, and here's to the next 25. Thank you, Your Worship. The province of BC has been a longtime supporter of the Rick Hansen Foundation, and I'm privileged to welcome the Premier of British Columbia, the Honourable Christy Clark. Well, it is my honour to be able to introduce the man in motion, which I will do in just a moment. But I want to say this first, because 25 years ago, I was 21 years old. And I remember watching Rick Hansen go across the Great Wall of China, a country where accessibility at the time was unknown. I remember as a kid from Burnaby, 
watching Rick Hansen go up Thermal Drive, which he did again this last Friday. inside this building and the lights were shining through down over the torch and there was this man Rick Hansen a Canadian hero in his wheelchair lighting that torch for Canadians Rick Hansen as George said never takes credit he gives it and the province of British Columbia has worked to make schools more accessible. We've worked to support the Blossom Centre for spinal cord research. But we did that because Rick Hansen reminded us how important it was to make it happen. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as I introduce Rick now, let me remind you of this. Because Rick is a constant reminder for all of us. We only get one life. And every year of that life, only has 365 days. What you do with every one of those days is your choice. And I am sitting today beside a man who shows us what a difference it can make when you choose on every one of those 365 days that you are going to make a difference in other people's lives, that you are going to change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so proud as British Columbians to live in a province with a place called Williams Lake, where a young man named Rick Hansen was born and grew up and decided to make a difference. A son of British Columbia, a hero for Canada, a man who has changed the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Hansen. How you doing, you guys? Well, you know, there are a few moments in life when the dream and reality are the same. This is one of those unbelievable moments. I'm here today filled with such gratitude, such joy, and such inspiration to be surrounded by so many amazing friends, family, and community members, supporters who have encouraged me, who have believed in me, who have challenged me to think that life is more than just achieving your goals. It's about what you do to pay it forward to help others with theirs. And here we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Man in Motion World Tour being at this amazing moment, this place here, this place where my friend Terry Fox is immortalized in this plaza, and there he is right there challenging all of us to believe, to believe that we all have the ability to make a difference. You know, Terry, he represents the best of this country. He's a proud British Columbian, and I know his brother Daryl is here today. And I know that his dream continues to unfold, and it inspires countless millions of people around the world, people like me, who had a dream but was wondering if I had the courage to go forward. Thanks to him, I took that first step. With my family, my friends, the people who believed in me, people like you, George, People like my team, my wife Amanda, my family who were there saying, Rick, we're with you on this journey. You can wheel around the world. You can make a difference. And there were times, believe me, when I thought about it, quitting. 
and I didn't know if I could make it. And just when I didn't think I could go any further, someone came and put their shoulder to the wheel and said, Rick, I'm with you. You can do it, keep going. Two years, two months, and two days later, we came back here to this incredible place, BC Place, a memory I'll never forget, where that dream and reality were the same. So many amazing people saying, Rick, this journey has been worth it. The effort, the energy, the pain and the suffering. And we believe that we can make this world healthier and more accessible and inclusive for all. And when I crossed that finish line, that sign said, the end is just the beginning. And you know, at first I thought they were crazy because I thought that tour was done. I was finished on my long journey. But after a moment, I realized that life is not a destination, it's a journey. There was so much work for all of us. All of us were now in motion. A nation in motion, along with the world, working one good turn at a time to remove barriers, to see what we could do to make a difference, to pay it forward. And 25 years later, here we are at this magic moment, celebrating progress from around the world, progress of an accessible and inclusive games that were held in Canada that could have only been dreamt of here in Vancouver in this place where I thought for sure it would never happen and it did because you all believed in the dream. The city of Vancouver, the province of British Columbia, the government of Canada and all the partners who made sure that when we welcomed 3.5 billion people from around the world that this was one country, not two separate classes of people, two events inside one games. And the pride of the Paralympic athletes who were there in those games made me realize the dream was now becoming a reality. It propelled me forward around the world once again to recognize champions who had made their countries more accessible and inclusive. Human rights that were in place that never were even dreamt of back when I did my tour in China, in Israel, in Australia, in Jordan, in the United States, countless countries around the world recognizing the rights of people with disabilities, their rightful role not just to participate, to be included, to be contributing, to be successful and productive citizens, to make this world better. What an incredible experience to know that all around that world that I traveled again, that those individuals wanted to continue to connect with Canada, to work together to create a global movement for the next 25 years. And as I came across Canada with so many thousands of difference makers on the Many in Motion Relay, I felt so privileged to hear the heartbeat of Canada express one person whose good turn at the time was part of our relay. The difference makers, the 7,000 who unfolded from coast to coast. And what impressed me most was the youth of our country, the stories of our young people who are nurtured by their parents, by their teachers, to believe that they had a role to play and it wasn't the future, it was now. Unbelievable moments, stories, people that have made a difference and connected the world, and it is so much smaller today. With the internet, with social media, one individual here in Vancouver can make a difference in Beijing, in Tokyo, in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, or in Williams Lake. And you know, I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate by being able to conduct our Cross Canada Relay. This relay, it would not have been possible once again without an amazing team of people. I've been surrounded, so fortunate, to have all the individuals on my team with my foundation that volunteered, that organized. They worked so hard every day, putting all the pieces together so we could profile the best of Canada. I'd like to say a special thank you to my team. And Jamie, I want you to come up here because Jamie, you and Jim and Otto and everybody else, you represented me every single day. You gave your heart. 
all those months, nine months, hundreds of communities, thousands of people. And even though I wasn't there every moment, I knew that I was there through you, through your eyes, through your heart, through your passion. I say thank you to you and the team. You made me proud. You gave me this opportunity to help move Canada forward and the world forward. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for achieving this dream. Let's hear it for Jamie and my team. Right on. And you know, the dreams, it's easy to dream, but you know, turning them into reality, you've got to be surrounded by some amazing people who believe in you. I get a chance to be able to say thank you to some people who have been with me all these years. I get a chance to say thank you to you, George Cohan and McDonald's for being there at the beginning and believing in a kid who had a dream and you've continued to unfold that. And you, and John, and everybody who's been part of this journey, I say thank you. Thank you for helping me to get to this point. Thank you for changing this country. And you know, Vancouver, Vancouver was there when I was a kid growing up, going to UBC, wondering what was possible. This city, it wasn't always accessible, but I'll tell you what, after 25 years, through the leadership of so many amazing people, so many champions from our community, city councillors, staff, partners, and you, Mayor Gregor Robinson, we are the most accessible city in the world. We've come so far, and we have a long way to go, but I know you're going to take us there. Thank you. The government of Canada was there when I was completing the journey with a million dollars dropped into the bucket in Ottawa as we came across the country in the middle of winter on behalf of all Canadians. Millions more to help connect Canada so we could work together to make it healthier and more inclusive. And of course, in that throne speech, once again, another amazing contribution. The government of Canada is here today, and I say thank you for helping us build this country one day at a time, one good turn at a time. Thank you so much. You know, the province of British Columbia was here from the very beginning. When I left, Premier Bennett was at Oak Ridge Mall. Premier Van Der Zav was there when I came home pledging $5.6 million on behalf of all British Columbians. The policies, the programs, the commitment, the will, that sense that not only have we achieved a lot, but we have a long way to go. BC is one of the most amazing places on earth, and it's because people step up to show leadership, to believe that they can continue to make a difference. Premier Clark, I say thank you for joining me here in this conclusion of this 25th anniversary. Your partnership, your support makes me believe that our best work is in front. Thank you so much for all that you stand for. And lastly, I want to be able to thank my family, Amanda, Emma, Alana, and Rebecca. They stood with me for all these years, and one of the greatest gifts is to be able to give and receive love and to know that you're surrounded by people who care most. They've given up a lot. They've supported me. Without their support, there's no way, no way I'd have the strength to move forward. And to each and every one of you, I say thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to celebrate this moment, to celebrate and honor our difference makers, to allow us to show what an incredible country we have, a young country that's being built every single day. And I couldn't think of a better last relay participant to join me coming down that street, up this ramp, on this stage, than you, Amanda, Come over here, because you are amazing. Let's hear it for Amanda. Amanda, you have accomplished so much. 
you've shown us that the youth of Canada and the world are uniquely poised, talented, capable, contributing and connecting and reflecting all the values that are special about this country. I say congratulations for all that you've accomplished. It is your tenacity and insight and talent that has inspired me during this journey to set the bar higher, to learn, to grow, to feel I'm surrounded by amazing people, to feel I'm surrounded by the youth of Canada, the youth of the world, and I know that in the next 25 years, we'll get to the dream and we'll celebrate. We'll celebrate that there'll never ever be another person that's permanently paralyzed when they have a spinal cord injury. And every person, the one billion people on this planet that have disabilities, will have hope and possibility, a meaningful and productive life. We'll be surrounded with people who are healthy, living in an inclusive society and on a healthy planet, fueled by hope and inspiration because they know they're not alone. We are together. This world is small, it is connected, we are the same, and we should never, ever forget that. What an incredible gift. Let's never give up on our dreams, you guys. Thank you so much. That's Rick Hansen, an incredibly inspirational and exceptional Canadian. And I'll have a chance to chat live with Rick right here on CTV News at noon in just a couple of moments. But first, we're going to take a short break. The rest of the day's headlines are next. You're watching a very special edition of CTV News at noon. Well, we're all familiar with his physical feats, but what an incredible public speaker that Rick Hansen is. We're reminded of that just moments ago, and he's sitting next to Carrie, ready to speak with her. Carrie. He is. I'm joined by the man in motion himself. Rick, thank you for being here. Your oh. 25th anniversary relay has just wrapped up. Did you accomplish what you were hoping to? Uh, you know what? There's no question. Our goals were to celebrate progress, honor people who were part of that progress, and of course, set the course for the future to generate partnerships, an incredible global network, and then, of course, resources that are necessary. And so over the next five years, I know that we're going to accelerate progress and uh, be well on our way to the end of the original dream. So compare this relay to what you did 25 years ago with your Man in Motion World Tour. Obviously a much longer tour, but can compare the two for you us. You know what? Uh, the original tour was one man in motion on a journey bringing forward a conversation with the world about a healthy and inclusive world. Accessibility was barely even talked about back then. And so when we concluded our journey, it was really the beginning of something. It wasn't the end, and there was so far to go. Today, 25 years later, we're celebrating the progress, the extraordinary effort that so many people have made responding to that challenge during the original tour. And it's not one man in motion anymore. It's many in motion. Many in it's motion. a nation in motion, and I feel so grateful for all the individuals in their yellow jerseys who represent millions who are making a difference. And I have to ask, um, just quickly, I know we're almost out of time, uh, but your journey has come to an end. What comes next for you? Well, you know what? We're moving forward. Best works in front. Connect the world. Work hard every single day. Oh. All right. Thanks so much, Rick, for joining us. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching CTV News at noon. I like the sound of that. Okay. Thank you, Mike. So back down to Terry Fox Plaza and my colleague Carrie Adams and Carrie, quite a noon hour this has been. I bet you still have goosebumps. Yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. A talk about an inspiring day uh, down here at Terry Fox Plaza. And we're going to leave you now with just some of the sights and sounds of the final day of Rick Hansen's 25th anniversary relay. Thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon. Rick's inspired me so much.